Okay, so for today's lesson, lesson three, six in our everyday math, the whole idea of today's lesson is to use minus zero and minus one. So we're gonna take away zero and take away one as our strategies for subtraction. And we've already been talking about taking away zero and one almost this whole school year already because we've been practicing it, especially when we do our naming our number of the day on the board. So remember, I've always said whenever you take away zero or you add zero, you're, you're taking away nothing or you're adding nothing. So nothing changes with the number that you're subtracting from or adding to. And so let's look at this problem right here. I have five and I'm subtracting zero. So I'm taking away nothing from it. If I have five and I take nothing away, it stays as the number five. Let me get my pen back out here. It would stay as the number five. I'm gonna pop down here to this one, seven minus zero. Again, here I have seven. I'm gonna take away nothing. So seven minus zero would equal seven. Now, I want you to notice how these problems are written horizontally. You have the problems where you're subtracting and then the equal sign and then the blank for your answer. But I want you to notice what's different over here. The blank for the answer comes first on this side. But that really doesn't make any difference because the math problem is still the same. We're saying that this answer is going to be equal to or the same as eight minus one or eight, I'm sorry, eight minus zero or eight take away zero. So it's just, they kind of just kind of flipped the numbers and the lines around, but the problem is basically the same. So if I look at this problem and I have eight and I subtract or take away zero, nothing's gonna change, right? Because I'm taking away nothing. So eight minus zero would equal eight. And if I were to read this across, like if I read a book from left to right, I would say eight is equal to eight minus zero. Eight is equal to eight taking away nothing, which is true. I'm gonna pop down here to these zero problems right here since we're working with the zeros. Now, these are horizontally written, which means they're going side to side like we usually write on our paper. These are written vertically, and that's just a fancy way of saying up and down. Again, it doesn't really matter which direction your numbers are going, whether your problem is going horizontally or whether your problem is going vertically. But what I want you to notice is different with this kind of problem, when it's written up and down or written vertically, is that you don't have an equal sign. See how we have an equal sign here, we have an equal sign here, we have an equal sign here. We don't have one in this kind of problem. But what they do have is this line here that kind of separates the math problem from where they want you to put the answer. That's what they use instead of using an equal sign. So that's kind of like a way of saying equal, only it doesn't have the two lines up and up on top of each other like with an equal sign. But we would read the problem the same way. Nine minus zero equals, if I have nine, I'm taking nothing away, I'm still going to have nine. And the same with this one over here. We have four, we're taking away zero, we're taking away nothing, it would equal four. So that's like the easy, 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 easy strategy, the minus zero strategy. You're not taking away anything, so nothing's going to change. Now, the next really easy strategy is to take away one. Well, if I'm only taking away one from something, I'm only going back one in my counting or I'm looking at the number that comes right before that number that I'm taking away from, okay? So if I have nine and I go back or take away one, nine going back one is eight. Or if I have three and I take away one or subtract one, I'm gonna start at three and go back one, two, okay? So that's the minus one strategy. The minus one strategy is basically just going backwards one. So kind of counting down one or remembering the number that comes right before the number that you're subtracting from. Now, these are nice small numbers, little single digit numbers, one, one number minus one number. I wonder if it would be the same if we had more than one number that we were subtracting from. So let's switch our screens here and let's look to see what we have over here. Oh, here we go, look. Oh, some bigger numbers. Let's see here. There we go. We got some bigger problems. Now, if I started at 87 and I took nothing away or took zero away, do you think anything's going to change with that number? 
Well, no, of course not, because we're taking zero away, right? We're taking nothing away. So if I have 87 and I take away nothing, nothing changes. It's going to stay as 87. It doesn't change. We're taking away nothing. Now, with our minus 1 strategy, the rule still is the same. Remember when we're doing minus 1, we're either counting back 1 or we're going or we're remembering the number that comes right before the number we're taking away from. So if I have 54 and I count back 1, 54 going back 1 is 53. Same here for number 67. Starting at 67, I'm counting back 1, 67, 66. And the same thing with this problem down here. I have 96 and I'm counting back 1, 96, going back 1, 95. Really, friends, how easy, easy, easy is that, right? So that's the minus 0 and minus 1 strategies. Now, I want to show you the second part of today's lesson. What you're going to do with today's lesson, when we're done with this, is you are going to play some subtraction top it. Okay? So I'm going to show you how you can get into subtraction top it in your everyday math game. Now let me go out of here for mine. Let me go back in and pretend that I'm a kid. So here we go. I'm kid Mrs. Tucker. Mrs. Tucker the kid. Here we go. Okay. Hello. See, it says, hello, kid. No, it says, welcome, Deborah. But anyways, so remember, when you go into your everyday math games, you're either finding that red schoolhouse that's on your everyday math app, or some of you have like a little brown square that's the everyday math app that's on your iPad. It's right there on your iPad screen. Tap on the games and you can play subtraction top it. Now you go over here to where it says top it and if you tap on that box there's going to be a lot of top it's. So the ones we could choose from today are the ones that they'd like you to practice today are either subtraction top it 5 or subtraction top it 10. This is where you're subtracting 5. Obviously this is where you're subtracting 10. I'm just going to go into the 5 to show you what it is that you can do today. So here we go. I'm going to tap on it and here we go. This is how you play the game. I'm going to be pink. Ooh, this is a play the computer type of game. Fantastic. Let's make the computer green. All right. You can be green computer. Here we go. Welcome to Top It. Here we go. Player one, click the parrot to get some gems. Deal two gems to each player. So. Player one. Enter the difference of these two gems. Okay, so what it's asking me to do right now is I have to subtract my two numbers. So if I have three and I take away three, 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 two, one, I would have zero. So there's my answer. And then once I click my answer zero, then I click on OK. Nice work. Ooh, look at those points. Now, it's the computer's turn. Now show which of the two differences is higher. So, Click the tie button if they are equal. Now it's asking me to decide which number is higher, which number is bigger, zero or three. So I have to pick either zero and click on this answer, or I have to pick three and click on this answer, or if the two numbers were the same, I would say tie. Well, three is the larger number, so I'm going to click this arrow. You got it. And I get my extra points. This zero player is gets less than points three. for having the larger difference. Okay, and then to play again, I would click on the parrot again. Let me do it one more time to show you. I give two gems to myself. I give two gems to the computer. And now I have to subtract. Now notice the computer had two first and then five, but they had to change it around because you have to start with the bigger number first when you subtract. So I have five. I'm going to take away three. Five, four, three, two. All right. There's my number two. I'm going to click OK. The computer's going to go. Nice work. All 
All right, now I have to decide which answer is bigger. Is the number two bigger or is the number three bigger? Well, I think the number three is bigger, so I'm gonna click on this one. That's right. Two is less than three. And we both get points because I chose the right answer and because the computer had the bigger answer, okay? And so you just keep playing, I guess, until one of you gets higher points. Oh, it actually looks like it's keeping track here. When you get up to this dot, I guess whoever has the most points wins, all right? So that's how you would play subtraction top it in your everyday math games. Now, before you go on to do that, I want you to click on one last slide because I am going to show you what to do for your homework tonight. So before you go into your everyday math, I want you to go to the very last slide in the Seesaw activity so you can see what your homework will be for tonight.